Direct Nickel is a nickel processing company and a nickel mining company that could revolutionise, we believe it will revolutionise the way that nickel is produced uh, and transform the nickel market. My name is Julian Malnick, I'm the Executive Chairman of Direct Nickel and this is Russell Debney, my long-time uh, working partner and he's uh, the CEO of, uh, of Direct Nickel. In this short presentation, we'd like to tell you about our capital offering and also a little bit about the technical aspects of the project. Rusty, would you like to maybe uh, run through some of the details of the offering and the timing, please? Yes, uh, we, um, we're about to take uh, Direct Nickel to the market by way of a reverse takeover. In the course of that, we're seeking to uh, approach the market to raise uh, a minimum of $15 million. We might go to $20 million if the market is strong. Uh, for the purpose of ensuring that we are fully funded uh, right the way through to the end of the final stage of the uh, testing and demonstration of the DNI process. So uh, this fundraising uh, is expected to take place uh, sometime in the next uh, two months. That coincides with the uh, period that we've allotted for the completion of the transaction and at the end of that uh, Direct Nickel will be a company listed on the uh, Australian Stock Exchange and, uh, and, and able to, uh, tr to trade its stock. The, uh, the offering and the terms of the offering, of course, will be fully set out in all of the uh, relevant documents that will be issued as part of the regulatory uh, proposal. Just as a point of interest, it, we, we are doing this as a reverse takeover, right? Not as a, a, a IPO. Yeah, we, uh, this is not the first time, of course, we've done this, uh, mate, as you may recall. Uh, Direct Nickel, of course, is following in the steps of uh, Nautilus uh, Minerals which is a company that uh, we started uh, almost 15 years ago uh, and which was uh, listed on the Toronto Stock Exchange in 2006. Mm. We did that by way of a reverse takeover. We found it a, an effective way of, of uh, mm. bringing the company to the market. It enabled us to ensure that the company was, uh, was well funded, uh, that uh, the pricing of the stock was something that we were in control of uh, and uh, we were able to deliver it to our shareholders at that time a, uh, a serious uh, and uh, valuable increase in their, in their investment. Mm. And of course the company has gone on from strength to strength from there. Mm. In fact it might be a good thing to uh, actually say something about Nautilus Jewels. That's uh, really where it all started. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'd love to tell you the whole story. Um, but uh, very briefly, Nautilus is a revolutionary uh, marine mining company that is about to start mining uh, in the next couple of years uh, <coughs> high-grade sulphides on the seafloor and uh, many people said we couldn't do it and uh, we're getting dreadfully close to, to that happening. So uh, certainly I'd refer you to the Nautilus website and you can learn about our uh, previous achievements but uh, we are very proud of it and I'd uh, love to soak up some more time telling you about it. I guess the highlight is that it's a innovative and revolutionary company and uh, as is Direct Nickel, uh, which is probably my segue to, to give a little background on, uh, on what makes up this company. Uh, the core of the company is a, uh, a process for making nickel from nickel laterite. Uh, we call it hydrometallurgy. You know, pyrometallurgy involved fire and is the furnace, you know, a traditional way of making metals. Uh, this is very much a digital age uh, solution for dissolving nickel laterites and uh, at low cost, uh, making uh, low operating and capital cost, uh, making uh, ni nickel cheap nickel, low cost nickel from nickel laterites, which is a very abundant resource. I mean, the highlights of the group, we're a uh, quality team, you know, we've got a track record, we've got a bunch of high quality silverbacks who, uh, who are well known around the industry and we have uh, and, and respected with our shareholders who are uh, Tech Resources of Canada and the CSIRO uh, of Australia, uh, investors and shareholders. So very good technical team, well integrated with those uh, other technical teams. Uh, it's a unique business model. So it's not your standard uh, drill hole only company. We are drilling in Papua New Guinea right now, but we, uh, the, the model is really to drive our access to resources with this discovery, the secret weapon technology that we have. Um, the costs and uh, the capital costs, we'll, we'll uh, be putting up a diagram on that, but it's uh, basically take your normal uh, uh, existing laterite process, we've got 40% of the capital cost uh, and 40% of the operating cost. Of comparable processes. Mm. Yeah, and um, so we, we, we sort of figure we're a uh, 
a small company now. We've got the ingredients to, to be the biggest nickel company in the world and uh, certainly to, to become a multi-billion dollar company. So, uh, Rusty, um, you might like to um, uh, tell us a little bit more about the, uh, the partnerships and... Uh, yeah, when we, when we started uh, Direct Nickel, we realised that uh, probably the most important thing that we could do was to ensure that we had uh, credibility uh, in the company from day one. Uh, that can be obtained in lots of ways, but we found uh, through uh, our 15 years of operating together that the best way to do that is to ensure that you have uh, quality uh, uh, partners, uh, quality strategic partners and quality investors. So we approached uh, a number of uh, parties and were delighted to bring on board uh, tech uh, uh, resources as they're now called, they used to be called Tech Cominco and they of course were uh, significant and still are significant partners uh, in the Nautilus uh, joint venture so uh, they uh, had obviously seen the, the quality of the work that we'd done, they took the view that this was uh, a similarly exciting project uh, capable of, of meeting uh, their strategic needs so they joined with us. Uh, Oxiana, now uh, Oz, uh, also joined and by the way both uh, Tech and Oxiana as they then were, um, were significant investors uh, in the company as well. So it wasn't just a, a technical partnership, but it was a financial partnership as well. And between the two of those companies, uh, they've invested probably the best part of $10 million in our work to date. And uh, tech, of course, is uh, continuing. Uh, one shareholder that you didn't mention, uh, Jules, that uh, we regard as a, a significant strategic partner is Regency Mines, uh, a, uh, an AIM-listed company on the, on the uh, London Stock Exchange. Uh, they are our uh, joint venture partners in, uh, in the, um, the Bambari joint venture. Um, they've invested uh, as, as a shareholder and along with us they're investing in that exciting project that we'll, uh, we'll say something a little bit more about uh, in a minute. Okay, look, flipping right away from the corporate, the process is revolutionary because it doesn't, we don't apply pressure to the reaction. I mean that's, uh, you, there's been a, a series of uh, uh, processes in the past that rely on, on pressure and using exotic metals. Ours is a, a 304 stainless tank farm. We get very good recoveries in a short period of time. We recycle our reagent uh, 100% and uh, or we, we can up to 100% depending how much we effort we, we put to it. But we uh, have a very high recover, recovery of our reagent and we treat, it's the first process to treat the entire laterite profile. So limonites, down through saprolites. The construction is, is fairly well straightforward, welding rod construction, and uh, that gives us the very low uh, capital cost that we enjoy. We can scale up from 5,000 tonnes of nickel a year. We don't have the, the usual constraints that the other ferronickel and pressure acid leach uh, technologies have. And, um, and we also produce a tailing that has uh, Mm. Uh, significant uh, environmental benefits. It's, uh, in fact, we think we can grow grass on it. <laughs> we should also say, uh, just to complete that uh, story, that uh, our recoveries are very high, Jules. We're getting, you know, 95% of uh, nickel, nickel, possibly recovery. a little bit more. In two, or two to four hours. In two so. to four hours, right. yes. So it's, it's, a, it's a continuous process. It's a lock cycle process. Uh, because it's a hydrometallurgical process, as you said, it's easy to scale up. And uh, it's a, uh, a process that's uh, likely to take the world by, by storm. Yeah. It's, it's certainly a game changer at a time when uh, the other technologies are suffering uh, severe difficulties and, as you mentioned earlier, uh, are also suffering from high capital costs and high operating costs. And to repeat that, we are going to come in at around about 40% of the mm -hmm. cost of those uh, alternative processes. So it's a, it's a serious game changer mm -hmm. and it's only 12 months away. So an investment in, in direct nickel is a, a little bit different to taking the punt on putting drill holes into the mountainside straight exploration play. Today in nickel laterites we have drilled out around the globe a 120 years supply of nickel. Nickel is a precious, one of the more precious base metals and here we are unconstrained by supply. Uh, with Mambari we've shown the, the access that we can get to those resources. Uh, every resource that we're involved with, we're going to have a shareholding in, an equity shareholding. We don't, we're not going to license the process out. The process is IP protected and uh, with a sophisticated IP strategy. So the benefit of this technology, and it, see, look at it this way, we, it's a key that will not just go into one lock, but into a hundred locks of, of different deposits around the world. And as we farm into those, we'll be accruing nickel onto our books 
and we'll also be uh, increasing the uh, acceptance of our process around the world over time and removing any discount that the market may see for this being a you know, new process. So there's two growth turbines, there's the accumulation of nickel resources and the removal of risk uh, from the, uh, from, or, or perception of risk particularly on, on the newness of the process. So that, that we, we see that um, leading to some very rapid growth. Yeah, I'd summarise it I think by saying that uh, we're a, a mining company with a unique technology. Um, yes, we're focusing very heavily at the moment on bringing the technology to fruition, uh, and we're very close to having completed that, but our business model is very much that of a mining company with a unique technology that's going to put us in a very, very strong position in the future nickel markets. Just to, to close also, Rusty, is, is to say that we are drilling in Papua New Guinea. We've got a five to seven million tonnes of contained nickel. The other use of uh, proceeds, of course, will be the test plant that we're building in the absolutely dream facility that we have at uh, Waterford in Western Australia. Um, and that's being, uh, that's under construction now. The, the plant's arriving and we'll be taking uh, 150 tonne uh, uh, bulk samples from various deposits. We've tested 35 deposits from around the world uh, and they all scrub up beautifully. We get great recoveries and we know we've got a, a, a really strong process. So, Let, Can I add to that, Jules, by saying that uh, the Waterford facility is run by the uh, CSIRO, Australia's uh, uh, leading research and science organisation. Um, I don't think we've mentioned it yet, but uh, the CSIRO is not only a partner in, in a strategic and in a technical sense, but they're also an investor mm. directly in Direct Nickel. And guess what? They're an investor in Nautilus as well. So there again, you've got a company that, uh, or at least a, an organisation, that has followed us into this one, and they're mm. providing a, a wide range of support services to, their, mm. to us there. And as you mentioned, an absolutely magnificent facility for us to be building this plant. Uh, and, and by the way, that plant is, uh, is well and truly under construction right now. We've got equipment being delivered to the site. Uh, there's lots of shiny uh, stainless steel there for people to see. Mm. And uh, it's something that's uh, very, very, very quickly becoming a reality. Mm. So for you, those of you who, who know us, we'd certainly uh, appreciate your investment support in, uh, in this new, uh, new revolutionary uh, company that we've built. Uh, we're very proud of it. And we've, the, the quality of the work that we've put into it has been uh, second to none. Um, so uh, we'd, we'd love to see you back, any Nautilus investors. And uh, we uh, certainly would encourage you to learn more by getting onto the link below. Uh, you can ring us uh, directly, either of us, and uh, learn more about it. And uh, certainly look forward to your uh, investment support in this exciting new company.